Welcome to an easy way to get QR codes from a web service. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, I stumbled across this web service the other day that gives you a QR code. Uh, and I thought that was pretty convenient, so um, I thought, let me do a video on how you actually you know, grab an image from a web service um, and perhaps store it in a blob field or something like that. Um, and this is the one that I found. Uh, and there's a lot of document documentation here, but basically you fire off you know, something like this. api.qrserver.com slash v8 create QR code, data equal whatever you want encoded and a size. So if I fire this off and say, uh, Hello, YouTube. I get a QR code. That's pretty cool. Um, so how do we do that from an Intel Central? Well, I think the first thing we need to do is um, we probably need a place to store it. Uh, so let's add it to the customer. Because I always use customer. Uh, so let's create a table extension. Here we go. Um, QR codes. Uh, and we need to tell that we're extending the customer table and we're adding a field. So let's add a field called, maybe we should do items. Well, how about that? I think we should do items. It's probably better. Uh, QR code, that's a blob. Uh, caption equal QR code, subtype equal bitmap. Boom. And just to break all the rules, let's add a uh, QR paste extension. Also extends item cart. There we go. Go to the layout. Say so add last in in i think what is the first section uh the first section might just be called item so let's add the last an item and we'll add our field called qr code application area boom now we have that um an item card is number 30 so let's go and change our launch json to start on 30. um and I will just deploy. I think this might break actually, because this might just be another extension already in that sandbox um, that uses the same object numbers. So we might be in for a small error here. Let's see. Maybe not. Wakey, wakey. Let me see if it's it's running at all. It looks like it's running. So the first time you deploy something, it always take a bit of time. But anyway, we can just let that deploy, and then uh, then think about how do we how do we get the QR code, um, and maybe we just want to do that on AssistEdit right now. There's already a page extension object in this one. Yeah. So so whenever you work in the same. Uh, in this case, a Docker thing, the same one all the time. Uh, you got to clean up. And I should probably have done that before I start the video, but that's how it goes. Uninstall this bad boy. Uh, maybe you've seen that video about the variable sized records. I actually have played a lot with that since then, and uh, it's going to be part of a uh, of BCCL, uh, a way to state data in, a, in an easy way. Um, so look for that in the not so distant future. Come on, you can do this PC at some point. Anyway, we, we can we can start thinking about uh, uh, 
how we connect to the to that web service. So when you connect to a web service, what we gotta do is that we need a client, and which is the HTTP client uh, structure. And then we can do client dot get. And if we go back here, this one is uninstalled. So if we grab this thing, then clearly we probably need to work on a URL. So we can say URL equal this thing. Maybe we like bigger size. And then whatever we put in here is what we actually want to encode. So how about we just do something simple and encode the the item number? So that's the that's pretty much a URL, right? So get we pass the URL and then the second parameter is a structure to store the response in. So we need to create another variable. We need to create a response, which is a HTTP response message. Uh, so we pass that in here, response. And we, we should probably say that if this succeeds, then let's do something. Um, let me close the window because the neighbors dogs are having a chat. Um, So if we then now we can look at the response and say okay if response dot is a success then let's do something else. Um, so now because it's a success we know that response dot content um, has whatever has been returned. So now we can read the content out of this one and we can we can uh, we can we can uh, we simply get pass it into an in stream so there is an if you haven't played with streams before there's an old video very old video on the channel by now uh, called in out read write confusing directions uh, uh, and there's also a video on streams. Um, so, so now we need an in-stream because we need to read from an in-stream. So now we need to set the in-stream to be, we want to read the content of the, the HTTP response into something that's available as a stream. Uh, so we can read from that which is kind of weird, but that's just how it goes. We could check that this succeeded. Uh, let's just assume that if it did not succeed, we'll get a big fat error, which is also okay. So now we need to put it into a blob. So um, for that, we need an outstream. So an outstream is a stream we can write to. So we can do reg.qr go dot create out stream and now we can simply do copy stream to out from in and let's modify the records after we're done so that was everything in one go let's see if it works let's see if it works let's see if we can publish uh, nine is a magic, there's still an extension. I, I uninstalled the wrong one. So even though I, this guy, we need to get rid of that one also. There we go. Let's see if we can deploy now. Exciting. There we go. We're in business and we need to log in because of course we do. Oops, maybe we need a password. Uh, let's see where we go. I did select item card. So that should actually be ready to go. And we have the new field here. 
So one slight problem. Uh, can see here that this one will just get a file. So actually, the, all the stuff I did, we can't do that because um, I did this on assist edit, and I and even though I might tell this one to have an assist edit. I don't think the blob will actually support an assist edit. So if you were yelling at the screen about, Eric, that's not going to work. I didn't hear you. But hey, let's uh, let's move somewhere else. Um, we could, what could we do? We could, we could create a label, could we? How about we create a label uh, called generate QR? That's label generate QR code. And then let's close this one and say field generate QR. There we go. Application area all. Show caption false. Okay, so what? did I do there? Let, let's uh, let's actually run and see if it works or not. Then I'll explain what. So, so now actually, okay, let, let's, uh, so what I wanted to do, I want this to become a link. Uh, so it, this should be on trigger on drill down. And this one should say, well, we, I don't think we need to specify drill down. Let's try again. Hopefully this will show up as a link now. There we go. Generate QR code. See, now it shows up as a link. So if we add, so what I did was that I created a label. Then I added the label and I said show caption no and added the drill down. So that will show up as a link. So if we click this now, so now it want to do a, a web service call because I'm in the sandbox. So I say yes to that. Bingo, we got a QR code. Uh, let's try another item number. Let's get a QR code. Bam. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. So. That was, what, 50 lines of codes here. Uh, so we added the QR field, uh, the, the blob field. And then I put that on, uh, on the page. And uh, then we did this inside the label. But the reality here is that this is the meat. This is, this is where stuff happens. So we have a URL. And and there's a bunch of we can we can do a lot of stuff, but but uh, so size and character sets and there's all sorts of uh, error correction and things that you can pass to this one, but I just pass the size and nothing else. Um, so we call the URL. We get a response if this is a successful response. Then we take the content, whatever has been returned back, which is binary uh, in, the, in this case, and we get a stream to it. So we get a in stream to whatever buffer is sitting in, in, in the response. So think about we get the web service get a response. So that response sits in memory. So now what we get as an in stream is kind of a point and say, okay, we'll be able to read this. Then I created a an outstream, which is a pointer to the memory for the blob field on the record, saying, "Okay, give me a pointer where I can write data to, so I can pump data into a, a in, into this blob field." And I use the copy stream function to uh, to copy the data, so pull the data out of the the HTTP response message, and and 
post it into not post that's the wrong word but but uh, send it into the into the blob field and then I modify the record at the end Bob Schonger, we're done um, so that is pretty cool and a, and a nice simple way to uh, to work with QR codes without having to think about fonts and all sorts of things it's just all the all the stuff in in eight lines of code so i like that um if you're interested in in other hill hacking stuff why don't become a subscriber and when you're done subscribing check out this video because that one that's a duty i'll see you there take care bye